Hello and welcome to a walkthrough video of our first product uh, release, Cello Percussion. Uh, I know a, f a few people are going to mainly want to just hear some of the sounds as soon as possible. So before I walk through anything, I'm just going to play a few sounds just so you can hear the kind of thing we've got here. So there's a quick kind of few random noises to give you an idea of the kind of thing that's that's in the library. So let's have a, a walk through and see what's in there. So first of all, you can see on the on the GUI here, we've got access to a few of the effects within Contact if you want to use them. Uh, going straight to the samples though, starting at the bottom, We've got a kind of kick drummy kind of sound here, which is created by hitting the strings just above the tailpiece, between the tailpiece and the bridge. A lot of cellists I've seen hit the back of their cello to make this kind of sound, but uh, I, I prefer it around the front between the tailpiece and the bridge. It's got a nice bit of bass in it there. Uh, on the C sharp next to it, uh, same kind of, samples but they are they are different samples doing the same thing um but not velocity sensitive here just if you want that you know a uh, hard sound straight off um next note up we have actually hitting the tailpiece itself on the d hitting the tailpiece itself as is but on the d sharp you can hear that the strings are left undampened and ring after the hit. Uh, next note, we've got what I've called side slaps. Just uh, slapping the side of the cello. Hitting the spike. Hitting the spike with the strings undampened. Now this is an interesting one. I quite often like to use this to kind of snare this, this sound it's actually hitting the bridge with my nail like a, so like like a finger tap but instead of tapping with the flesh of the finger it's tapping it with the nail uh, then with the strings unmuted pitchless pits i've called called this so this is pitching a string plucking a string but while the strings dampened to get a kind of percussive effect. Pitchless coleño, so coleño as in playing with the uh, wood of the bow, although in my case the carbon fibre of the bow, but with the strings dampened again, so there's no discernible pitch. Fingerboard slap. So this is simply hitting, hitting the uh, fingerboard where the strings are. Now C and D, C2 and D2 kind of work together because they're tapping the top of the cello with the left and right hand. And uh, on the black notes next to them, C sharp and D sharp, same thing with the strings unmuted. Uh, next up, bow bounces. Similar, I suppose, to the Pitts and Corleño that are pitchless. This has the strings muted again, but just letting the bow simply bounce onto the strings. Belly hits. Tapping the cello on the belly. Called these ones knuckle knocks, just like you're knocking at a door, but knocking on the cello on the side. Sorry, on the back. Uh, next two sounds are uh, quite iconic sounds. Uh, the chop. 
Um, uh, it's quite a big technique in uh, contemporary American string playing. We've got chop down and a chop up, as in the, the, the chop and the release. That's it. Uh, now this is where the, the samples are stopping to be, uh, there's kind of, all the samples up to now really have been, except for the chop, have been velocity sensitive. But some of these samples, due to the nature of how you play them, are not velocity sensitive because they require uh, always to be loud, basically. This one here, I've called the blip. It sounds like a hit, but what this actually is, um, is pressing really hard with the bow and then moving a fraction of an amount so the string just goes bip and just vibrates a tiny little bit. Um, and also that's the same thing on a low string. So high string blip, low string blip. Here, string hits. So hitting the strings, but not quite so hard that it gets all the way to the fingerboard, but, but an, but also uh, fast enough off so that it really lets the strings ring. Uh, now here's some more effecty type things. So that's bowing the tailpiece of the cello. This is taking the bow vertical and bowing the actual bridge of the cello shift with the left hand so that shift down and shift up just shifting down and up the fingerboard with the left hand this is one of my favorites this is a bowing right on the bridge of the cello so no pitch is no pitch is created if you'd um, had a look at uh, Soft False Harmonics, the freebie that came out a bit before this um, library, you'd see there was a bow noise control you could turn off and turn on. This is kind of similar to that bow noise, but no fundamental was ever made to begin with. This is just playing simply to create that bow noise. These are kind of more bow noise things, just short ones. Down bow, up bow. This is pressing the bow onto the string, and instead of using the lateral movement we'd normally use, going straight downwards. But the second one with the strings unmuted, so they ring. And then we've got up, and then up with the strings unmuted, so they ring. Now, the next ones, I've been calling over bows in the manual. I, I use the term over bow because it's kind of similar to the wind term over blow, but it's a uh, putting so much pressure on the bow that the string cannot vibrate as usual and creates this kind of sound. Uh, and these are short ones. Here's another short one, another short one, another short one, kind of related to the different strings. And then we've got long ones. Now uh, here, below bridge flick, flicking vertically with my fingernail down the C string below the bridge. Then G string, T string, and A string. Then over bows below the bridge as well, C, G, D, and A. Yeah, sounding uh, almost synthetic right at the end of it. Yeah, some crazy sounds down there below the bridge. All right, um, I hope that's been interesting to you. Uh, check them out. The library is on an intro offer right now, and we'll go back to normal price in two weeks' time. Okay, thank you very much. See you in the next one. Bye.